Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to thank everybody for coming back. I also wanted to thank all the new subscribers for coming to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. If you could do me a favor and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that'd be greatly appreciated. And it really helps my channel out, so thank you. Look at there, guys. It is uh, April 13th today, and we have snow on the ground. What in the heck? That is not good. I don't like that one bit so ever. That's almost a swear word around here. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> but I just figured I'd kind of show you. It's 31 degrees out, guys, today, and a little chilly out, so. But I uh, got some new birds today from uh johnny river like the, the video i did the other day i told you i was getting new birds from him from danny's line so just kind of wanted to give you a little heads up and show you what's going on so you guys you know it's one cold out here i got we still got snow on the perches in here where the young birds are all them little guys up here checking things out so it's chilly when you snow your snow sticks on there it stays there when you're doing that so I let the birds out yesterday, and I just noticed I had one out just a little bit ago, so I went and uh, tried to get it to come in, and it didn't come in, so I got to move some stuff around so I can get, uh, hopefully get it to bot or come in the trap, so. All right, guys, I told you uh, I was getting some birds from uh, Johnny River that had from Danny's line yet, so I just went and picked them up. Actually, I was shocked. I kind of got them a day early. Because they went to the dis distribution center instead of my normal post office, which I would probably would have gotten tomorrow then instead, but I'm okay with that. So right now what I'm going to do is take them and unbox them out of here, show you guys, put them in a basket, and uh, once I get it all said and done, I'm going to give them some water and food in the basket so that way you guys can see them too. So. Tape here, I see. We got a couple zip ties. You guys are seeing them for the first time, too, just like me. So, hope everything's okay. They all made it home. They're all made here, anyways. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're all looking good, guys. So, just give me a second here. I just wanted to move the basket a little easier so I can get in here once I open it up so you can see the birds better. So, all right, here's one of them. Little grizzle, beautiful looking bird. See, furry bird. Got a little poop on them, but that's expected. But I love the color on it though. That grizzle like that. It's going to look very pretty when it flies in the sky. So. Nice looking bird, guys. That's the next one. Now we got a little blue bar. A little bit bigger bodied. The other one's a little bit smaller. That's okay. So, got a little white flight in it. It's kind of cool. So, what do you do? You know, I don't care what color they are, as long as they fly good and and uh, be the first ones home. Don't matter to me what they look like. So, they could be purple and all kinds of different colors, hot pink. I wouldn't care. You know, said nice looking young little young bird here. So, I am planning on just kind of loft flying them around here, just because I want to. Uh, I don't try to try to get away from doing having prisoners if I can help it. So. You know, I'll still keep them and fly them around if I can, so. And then, you know, definitely breed out of them. That's my, my plan anyway, so. I'm not sure if I'll race these yet or not. I'll have to make the decision later. But for right now, like I said, we're gonna just do it this way, so. Grab the next one. Here's another little blue bar. As you can see, this one must be a little hen, I'm guessing. A little lot smaller, a little smaller head. So I'm not sure if they're nest mates or not. I didn't look at that, so. But look at that, pretty. Beautiful looking wing there, so. Well, guess we'll have to see and see how they do. They feel really nice, guys, nice and healthy. Look good. You know. 
Soon. Beautiful looking bird, guys. See? <laughs> Last but not least, I got so. Okay, we got a shark grizzle. There. Beautiful looking bird there. Now you guys can see the wing a little better. It's, I actually love the color of this one. It's really gorgeous in color. Kind of curious what kind of color birds on this is going to throw. Nice looking little bit of bird there. Oops, whoa, 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 hang on one. Hate hey, to let it go. So, while well, we're in the garage right now today, it's a little chilly outside, guys. 31 degrees. We got a little bit of snow on the ground. I mean, it hit the ground and melted, but you can see in the first part of the video there that uh, on the window, or the door sill there, and it's a little chilly out, you know, when it doesn't melt off there right away, so. But these guys are looking good. I take and feed and water them now, so. Guys, I also want to kind of give you a little helpful hint here. I'm going to give these guys here some water here in just a second. Um, you know, baskets like this, where I made this, where I had the front in here, when they uh, start doing the flying for uh, your race clubs and all that stuff, if you can teach your birds to stick their heads through there, see the little holes first, in the long run, you're going to be a whole lot better off that way, because when they go to release the birds, you know, when doing races and all that stuff, they actually like to give them water. So I actually like to train some of my birds, you know, when they're get a little older and they don't know how to drink and they know how to drink really, really well. I'll actually, I'll leave them in the basket and uh, a nice warm day, you know, put them in the shade, but yet get hot, you know, or not hot, but you know, enough where they get thirsty. So that way when you just do this, they learn to hear that sound of that water and they'll come sticking their heads through that thing and drinking. So that's why you see, I kind of put it up a little higher so they can see it falling and hear it drinking. So as I don't think it's, you know, probably a huge temperature difference between where they came from, from New Jersey down there to here to Minnesota. Like I said, I'm not sure what the temperature is down there right now, but I know it's probably a lot warmer than it is right now. So like I said, today, a whopping 31 degrees. I also do that same thing sometimes with their food. I'll take and put the food inside and then pour it against it so they know when they hit that tinning sound, they can eat. So, and leave it out here for them. Let them figure out how they can pick through there. So, you know, just like I said, they look pretty good guys. So, I'll give you another little close up here in just a second here. So, just wanted to kind of show you what I did today and what I got, so. All right guys, I'm gonna give you another little close look up. Here's some nice looking bunch, guys. If you didn't see the last video, you know, you should check it out. Um, Johnny Rivers has some of these, these are from Danny's line. So I know everybody knows who Danny is off of YouTube. So if you don't, check him out. He's uh, one heck of a guy, he's my, one of my mentors. So kind of helped me out and learn how to race a little better and all that fun stuff. So that's what I'm here to do too, is try to help you guys out. Race a little better too, so. But I'm gonna take and put the food and water inside just tonight, just so they, you know, get and eat and drink. So. Put this more in the quarters and I can't spill it so easy. But, see? Now they got their food and water. I'll lock them up in here tonight, just leave them be. And, so you gotta do and come out and check on them, make sure they're drinking and eating, so. But overall, guys, nice looking birds, so. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down, do what you gotta do, leave a comment if you like. Um, thanks for watching, and have a great day.